Welcome to the Health Bites section on healthy weight in children. In this section, you'll learn about obesity, its risks, and what you can do to help your child maintain an appropriate weight and stay healthy. Previously on As the Apple Turns. I just don't know about this, Dr. Barron. You don't have a choice. Go. Now. We'll be in touch. Honey, I'm sorry, I have to go. Sure, Mom, leave, just like you used to. <sighs> Come in. Dr. Barron? Beth, I'm glad you came. Please call me Reginald. I have some urgent news about your granddaughter. I had a great time today, Bridget. I had a wonderful time today too, Trey. Do you think I could? Um, I mean, well, if you want. Well, what I'm trying to say is... Trey, there's something you need to know. What is it? It's time to sink your teeth into the juicy stories of As the Apple Turns. Whatever it is, we can work it out. I... I'm living with someone. Oh. I didn't realize. I should go. No, wait, Trey. She's four. She's my daughter, Clara. I thought you were going to tell me something else. You know, like... I'm hungry. Are you going to stay for dinner? Well, what is it? Beth, I have the HIPAA release signed, so I'm cleared to release this information, just so you know. But according to this BMI chart here, your granddaughter is... Obese. What does that mean, Reginald? Scientifically, it means she has a BMI at or above the 95th percentile. BMI is a measure of body fatness, and parents can see this on the child's growth charts, like this one. In plain terms, it means she's consuming more calories than she uses. Oh. The more you exercise, and the more you're active, the more calories you burn. Everything we eat has calories, and if we aren't active enough, we don't burn calories and we end up gaining weight. If the weight is excessive, the child is obese. So what do we do? I'm pretty sure I can help. A few important changes here and there, and she'll be healthy in no time. But her mother, my daughter, she'll have to make those changes. Not to worry. I'm already on it. This TV dinner will be for Clara. I could order takeout for us. Who was that? Nobody. So where's Clara? Oh, she's just in her room, probably watching TV. I'll heat this up and take it to her. A TV dinner is pretty unhealthy. <laughs> but it's quick and easy. Well, right, but it's also unhealthy. Fast food is the same way, loaded with too much fat, sugar, and salt. So what do you recommend, Hotshot? You should cook something fresh. Boil, bake, or stir fry. Planning and preparing your meals often means you'll use less fat, sugar, and salt than what you'd find in restaurants and in those frozen dinners. And you can save the leftovers for later. Well, I do like a man who can cook. Why don't I see what I can whip up? Somebody's Mr. Popular today. Trey, is everything all right? Yeah. Um, why don't I see what I can make? So this guy you have, 
Trey. He's there to help your daughter get her daughter healthy. Well, he better not break her heart. Beth, he'll do what he needs to do. This could be serious. How serious, exactly? Obesity leads to an increased risk for type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. I see. It can lead to problems with vision, nerve sensation, and kidney disease. Oh my. Heart disease resulting in an early death. Or she could develop asthma, sleep apnea, liver disease, low metabolism, oh. skin infections, menstrual problems, bone and muscle problems, not to mention the lower self-esteem, negative body image, and symptoms of depression that often come with obesity. Okay, okay, I get it. Say obesity runs in Bridget Stad's family. Could that have something to do with it? It's likely. Obesity is caused by a number of factors, including genetics, the environment in the home, diet and activity. Regardless of the cause, it's important that we help your granddaughter. And that's why Trey's there. That's why Trey's there. Reginald, I appreciate all you've done, but this is my daughter and granddaughter we're talking about here. I assure you, Beth, Trey's got it under control. No, I have to go there. Now. I need to warn Trey. Sorry, I need to take this. Hello? Couldn't you have texted? She's what? Here? Okay. I'll think of something. Bridget, you don't have many healthy things to eat here. Even the snacks are unhealthy. I want to help you keep low-calorie, nutritious snacks around, like fruits and vegetables. Okay. And all you have in the refrigerator are cans of soda and orange-flavored sugar drink. You can do better. We can do better. 100% juice, Bridget, no more than four ounces per day. Why are you acting so strange, Trey? Let's go on a vacation together. All of us, Clara too. Somewhere we can be active and have fun. Look, I know that Claire is obese. She is, yes. I just wish I knew how to help her be healthy. Bridget? Bridget. Mom, what are you doing here? I'm here for Clara. I want her to be healthy. What makes you think you can do a better job raising my daughter than I can? You did such a great job with me, after all. Calm down now, sweetie. I've learned a lot since. For instance, it's a parent's job to provide healthy, nutritious meals and snacks. And Clara should decide how much she eats. And you should always eat together as a family as often as you can. Would have been nice to know earlier. Eating meals together teaches a child to know when she's hungry or full. Plus, it teaches her good table manners. And you get to spend quality time together. I can't deal with this right now. Bridget, wait. care about you, Bridget. Let's let your mom take care of Claire. Come home with me and I'll teach you about healthy cooking and some ways that you can help Claire be healthier. Okay. On the menu tonight, Mademoiselle, my famous stir fry. A healthy meal with many different food groups represented. Vegetables, lean meats, whole grains. And I'm thinking some strawberries for dessert from the fruit group. This looks wonderful, Trey. 
I know Claire and I need to eat a healthy variety of foods. I really can't thank you enough. When mom showed up earlier, I just didn't know what to do. That's okay. I want to help. Do you notice how I didn't put overly large portions on the plates? And do you notice how the plates are smaller than normal? Portion sizes are important, and Clara should have smaller portions than you and me. This is nice, right? It's wonderful. It's good to try to plan one meal together a day as well. A family. It gives you time to talk and teach some important things, just like your mom said. Well, if the meals are anything like this, I could get used to it. And do you notice how I don't have a TV in here? I hadn't noticed, but now that you mention it... Well, that's because television can be distracting. Not only can it take away from the conversation you can have as a family, but it's also easy to lose track of how much you're eating. Meaning you won't know when you're really full. Exactly. It's important to create an atmosphere that makes it easier for the family to stop eating when they're full. And good conversation helps you slow down. For some people, it can take up to 20 minutes for them to realize how full you are. But so often Claire won't eat what I give her. And by what you're telling me, I'm guessing I shouldn't force her to eat. So it's just easier to serve her what I'll know she eat. Like TV dinners or pizza. I understand, Bridget. It's hard. But there are some things that you can do to help. Like what? Try being a role model for Clara. The more you talk about how much you like the healthier foods, like these stir-fry vegetables, for instance, the more likely she'll be to try it and discover that she likes it. Well, they are good. Sometimes I say, if you eat all your dinner, I'll give you a sweet for dessert. You actually shouldn't use food or sweets as a reward. It leads to a greater risk for obesity. But I want to show her I'm proud of her when she eats healthy. Definitely. Get creative then. Try something like this. Clara, if you eat all your vegetables and practice good table manners, then we can do something fun tonight like jump rope or hopscotch. <laughs> that sounds wonderful, Trey. Well, being active is an important part of reducing obesity. The more active that you and Clara can be, the better. I see. Tell me more. Well, preschoolers like Clara should get at least one hour of physical activity and at least another hour of unstructured playtime each day. They shouldn't be inactive like sitting and watching TV for more than an hour at a time. If we don't get enough exercise, then we don't burn enough calories and that's how we gain weight. Well, that makes sense. So yeah, maybe try to be active together. It'd be fun. Well, I'm having a lot of fun tonight. I'm glad. But something's bothering me. What is it? How do you know all of this? How did you find me? Why do you care so much? We should probably get back to your house. No! Don't try to change the subject. I need to know the truth. Bridget, how do you think I am? I was sent here to do a job. I was sent to help you and to help Clara. Obesity can lead to some serious health problems and I was sent to help. How can I ever trust you again? If you're not who you say you are, how am I supposed to believe everything you've taught me? Bridget, I'd be lying if I said that this time that we spent together hasn't been magical. I'd also be lying if I said that that wasn't the best meal I've ever made. Regardless, Trey, I need answers. Who put you up to this? <gasps> it was you! You put Trey up to this, didn't you? Wait, you two know each other? Reginald and my mom were high school sweethearts. Beth came to me for help. She was worried about Clara. And I've always cared about your mom, Bridget. Bridget, yeah, I was paid to do this. And yes, I should have told you, but it would have compromised my mission. And everything I've done has been to help your daughter. Can you give me another chance? A chance to start over? I love you. I... I... Will Bridget
Bridget give Trey another chance? What will become of Beth and Reginald? Find out next time on As the Apple Turns.